Hi guys, good morning. Uh, my name is Vasan and today we are going to see how to create the MT file by using the uh, touch command and also we are going to see some special features available with this command. Okay, so to create an empty file, you have to run the command touch followed by the uh, file. Say for example, the file name dot txt here I'm using enter. Yes, the file has been created successfully. Now to view the details of the file, use the ls command, then hyphen l option followed by the file name you have to give okay so it displays the default permissions of the file the first root shows the owner of the file and the second root it shows the file belongs to which group and the next one the zero it indicates the total size of the file and then the date and time details of the file name dot txt if you run the ls command without the hyphen l option followed by the file name this will not give you the detailed information of the file like the permission, the owner, the data creations, everything. Enter, you can see what? Only the file name. So always use the ls command with the hyphen l option to display the details of the file. Okay. Now, if you want to create the multiple files by using the touch command, you can do it. So touch the file name, the file f1 inside the root directory, then file f2, then space file f3 and so on so all you have to do is what you have to add space between the file name that's all yes now the three files has been created successfully f1 f2 f3 inside the root directory suppose in case if you want to uh, modify the uh, timestamp informations of the existing file what you would do you can do it by using the touch command actually okay the special features of the touch command is you can modify the existing file timestamp information to the latest one okay so without override the existing file content you can do that one that is very very important okay here i will show you i have a file with the name uh, data dot txt check the date and time september 7th at 11 40 the file was created now once again i'm going to run the command touch and then the same existing file okay data.txt yes the file was created now check the ls final data.txt here you can see the timestamp now it is updated to september 15th 10 o'clock seven minutes good so the touch command always uh, more update for the timestamp informations only okay now let me show you another one example by using the or option okay so touch hyphen or uh, document sorry uh, let me take some other file say on ls hyphen l mm, I have some couple of files here I have a file with the name file name the file was created on September 8th uh, 5 o'clock 26 minutes okay now touch here I'm going to use the option hyphen now then the existing file name then space the new file name okay uh, like facebook.txt the file name is facebook.txt so now what will happen uh, this or that is the reference option it tells the touch to use that file stamp instead of the current time got it for example the following would tell it to use the timestamp of the file name to the facebook.txt let us check enter now check the timestamp details for the new file the facebook.txt yes September 8th 526 instead of uh, I mean, uh, uh, update with the latest time here it is showing what September 8th 526 so that is the power of using the reference option hyphen or so we will see more about this in our latest videos I hope you have enjoyed thank you